With growing awareness of the environmental impact of our consumer society comes an increasing desire to support our lifestyles by other means than linear production, consumption and disposal of goods and materials. The multi-cycle project is demonstrating the shift to a circular economic model for plastics-based multi-materials used extensively in two significant industrial segments. Multi-layer packaging films used to protect foods and personal care products and fibre-reinforced plastic composites found in durable, lightweight parts in modern vehicles. Technical advances in multi-cycle have generated commercially sensitive, strategic and valuable new intellectual property. In line with the European Commission's impetus to see patent protection incentivising competitive advantages within Europe, the project partners have prioritised patent protection in key areas of the project. Two patents apply to IRIS's work in an advanced monitoring system optimised for the recognition of multiple polymers present in a diversity of flexible multi-layer packaging films and cost-benefit determination for recycling multi-layer plastic waste. A further patent relates to prospective fault adaptation for project management. The benefit of pushing a patent application through the project go well beyond helping with filling costs. Being able to safely discuss inventive concepts confidentially with trusted colleagues and intellectual property experts has heavily resulted in a much stronger optimal letter structure application. We have been able to use filling a strategy which will maximize the coverage and competitive advantage to be gained from granted patents. In other words, it's all about maximizing value for the money invested in IP. From my point of view as project coordinator, it's been really important that everyone in the consortium has bought into an effective and transparent process for prioritizing ideas for support the patent application. I think the process which our partners at Inlecon facilitated has worked really well and is a great example of a consortium working in an effective collaboration. The packaging industry is undergoing its most profound transition since the introduction of plastics over half a century ago. For a market leader like Amcor, it's in our DNA to lead through innovation. That is why we've made design for recycling and implementation of recycled content key company targets to be achieved by 2025 and this across our entire portfolio. Now, if you have a look at the technology platforms behind Multicycle, these have the potential to fundamentally change the way we look at the recycling of complex multi-materials. It would allow us to recover those valuable raw materials that were previously permanently lost into waste streams like incineration and landfilling. Thus, fast-tracking recyclability for products where current recycle-ready solutions are not feasible. The results so far within this European Horizon 2020 project are proving that these materials could be re-implemented into new, highly added value flexible packaging products. Further industrialization would drastically change the recycling landscape, thus helping the entire value chain to achieve the recycling targets set by the European Union. A series of patents are currently making progress with the support of expertise within the consortium and from outside counsel as they go through formal filing and evaluation at the relevant patent offices. This activity forms part of the multi-cycle partners' broader planning for the dissemination and exploitation of results towards maximising impact and market uptake. By providing targeted training, communicating key information Engaging relevant stakeholders in our activities and events, we are building dedicated exploitation plans for each of our project's key results. We are helping our industrial partners to define pathways need to be followed to achieve an effective exploitation. As insight builds over the lifetime of the project, so does the level of detail in the plans. For example, bringing in additional studies on markets, new business models, business opportunities arising, and the economic, societal, and environmental drivers of change in order to maximize the overall positive impact of the project's results across the European Union.